It's your boy Phil, you music man. I'm doing something different now with Big Hand. And I started out with um, Zora Money with this. Um, Shout out my brother. We in a competition in Philly. Mm -hmm. There's always competition, but we always hear what other people opinions about who they think, who is this type of rapper, how good he is. Now I want to start doing with other rappers, how they look at their peers, okay. they, how they rate their peers. Um, Zora did his first, and you the second one. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you some names and... Give me like f from five to ten, what well, how you rate that person and why? Oh, five. What you, what you mean by five to ten? Like the number, the rating, like from like you know, like from one to ten. But we're gonna do from five to ten. Okay. Cause I don't want to give nobody no zero or no twos or three. I think everybody I mean, here. You gotta leave space though. Yeah. Well, huh? All right, we gonna go. We gonna go zero to ten. That's zero to ten. Woo. Okay. All right. No problem. I, mean, I, I didn't want to leave space. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, whatever we gotta do. All right. Well, we are gonna start off. Let's start with Feast the Beast. Ah, oh, Feast the Beast. Feast gets a... Uh, I mean, to me, Feast halfway with a uh, five. Five, okay, why is that? Um, be, because he has... To me, it feels like he has half the package. Okay. He has half the package. Um, Feast, lyrical, building, wordplay, spar none. You know, can't too many people keep up with him. Um, but far as his presence, um... In delivery, sometimes that's lacking. Okay. You know, and, and but it holds them back as far as uh, appealing to the people. Okay. Entertainment, uh, value-wise. Um, but but you know, you know how they say better rap supposed to be about bars, like you know. But times change. Yeah. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying like you can't just look at it one way if you want to be successful because it's not just two niggas on the corner no more rapping no more. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Like it's actually. Is it, they actually paying niggas to come battle, like you know what I'm saying? So whoever can sell them tickets, you know what I mean? That's who on top. You got a point there. Okay, how about Shice Raw? Shice, uh, hmm, Shice, uh, I'm gonna have to give, I'm gonna give Shice a six. Okay. Um, her, 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 her whole swag about it is, is dope. Like the bully style, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She got that down pack. Um, her voice a little too timid for me, as far as when she rapped, because she just looked like she had sound way more beast than that. But um, as far as content and the battle rap, it, um, I feel she lacking sometimes as far as punching. Um, as much as I would like to see, you know what I'm saying? But she takes dope angles, and um, she gets the job done as far as winning or putting up competitive battles. But I don't feel like she um. Had, has shown that she's like way past everybody else. You know, like I feel like she's even with the other females okay. in, in, in Philadelphia Battle Rap. I don't feel like, um, like, you know, stock or, or ability to rap is higher than the rest, you know? Okay. So. How about Lady Caution? Um, LC, I may have to give LC a seven because, um, image. First off, um, she's dope. She got a uh, own unique style. She got a own unique style. Um, as far as battle rapping, she she attacks. She attacks, and um, that's like a power circle thing. Which I, I don't know. Like I mean, people was doing it before us, uh, of course. But like all our styles is aggressive and like attack straight at you, which always makes for a good battle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, granted, I don't think she's um like super lyrically inclined. But she she still dope, super dope content. Um, you know what I'm saying, and that's why I left room, because my ten and lyricist is like really demanding. It's not something that I just give away lightly. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. so that's why you know my numbers is fives and sixes and sevens we, we, because my ceiling is high. It's very high. You know what I'm saying. Okay, let's go with um, the black guy. Dope. Dope. Um, Dope is entertaining, but I'm going to have to give Dope a four, because Dope is very entertaining, um, and he has great angles, but the lyrical ability is like, 
it's not really there as far as battle rap. And um, I feel like the delivery is uh, shaky. Um, I feel like the use of, let me see how I put this. Basically, like, when I rhyme, my synchronization plays a big role as far as words, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like some people straight out of the box and don't really do that, which makes it sound, it sounds kind of light to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, the flow of it won't be as dope as if you're doing that. And I feel like he does that a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think he's an entertainer, but as far as the lyrical ability and really having content, I don't really think um, he does that. So, you know, I'm going to have to give him a four. Okay. How about the twins? twins? Ghost and Rel. Uh, um, talk about my son, Ghost. Oh, man. Income tax season, man. <laughs> I get paid, boy. But love is love, all. Yeah, I'm wrong right. No, on the twins, let me see. Um, I would have to give Rel Raw. Rel Raw, I'm going to have to give Rel a, a I had to get well seven. Okay. I think I'm six and a half. I'm gonna get well six and a half because it's dope energy. Um, dope energy. Um, pretty dope content most of the time. Um, Hangmaker's not so heavy, you know, and it can play a big role in a battle. And I don't feel like I've seen him drop Hangmakers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that that's what kind of holding me back. From um, giving him a higher rating in Ghost, I would have to give Ghost an eight because um, the energy, the delivery, um, the content of trying to attack instead of really just mostly all bars, he attacks a little bit too. So I give him that, and and um, I have seen Hangmakers out of him. Okay. I seen hey, Hangmakers out of him. Hangmakers are, are are can win or lose you a battle. You know what I'm saying? Right. They can win or lose you a battle. So. I'm gonna have to give him that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but you know, when your head come up on the jaw, you know what I'm saying? Still getting chopped, you know what I'm saying? Uh uh. But love is love, you know what I'm saying? Pops. Bless Creed. Bless, uh. Bless. Ay. We're gonna have to give Bless an eight. I'm thinking eight or eight and a half. Because the lyrical ability and the rhyming is just phenomenal. Yes, it is. And the freestyle ability is just phenomenal, you know. But um, appealing to to, to the fans, not so much. Um, he he's the type of person that develops a core fan base, you know, and they ride with that type of um style that he has. Me, I think it's dope because as an artist, I respect every, you know, the way every, the way everything. I mean, the way people put they. You know, put they work together. Right. You know, it's different ways to to do it, and it's different forms of dopeness. Like just because one nigga rap this way and one nigga rap that way, you can't only think, oh, one way is dope. Right. I mean, you can think like that, but that shows how small minded you is. You know, because I can listen to five different genres of music and still like at least one song. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you gotta have an ear for for time, and I have an ear for time. Bliss has that, um, but he kind of lacks a pill as far as in the crowd. Delivery um hasn't been as dope as it used to be. It's been kind of lacking off um, and the content hasn't really been as dope as like as as it should has been. Well, as it should have been lately. I'm saying like he's been slacking, so we might have to drop it down to a seven and a half. Okay. You know, but from what I know he can do, I got him at like an eight, eight and a half. But performances lately and stuff, we gonna say seven and a half. Yeah, that's 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 more accurate for us. Okay, Zor Money. Zor. My brother. Mm. Okay. So. Zor, we're going to get Zor 8 and a half. Okay. Reason being, aggression, lyrical content. He always has a message in what he's telling you. You know what I'm saying? If he's attacking you, he's attacking you with a message. And he's piecing it together intricately. He's not just rapping. Like, he has planned this out. You know what I'm saying? And um, I see it when he battles. The only thing that I don't like is that um, he doesn't really have the hangmakers. Like, you got to be a listener to, to, to feel him. That's how I feel. You got to be a listener 
plus a realist, you know what I'm saying, to 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 really enjoy Zora bars, you know what I'm saying? So you might got one nigga who might say you're five. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not their lane or what they like, you know what I'm saying? But um far far as me being a realist and and, 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 and as a listener and an artist and knowing how hard it is to put work together, you know what I'm saying? I see the dopeness in them all. Um, I think he hasn't shown his full potential. We're gonna take back the eight and a half. We'll give him eight. Okay. We're gonna give him eight. Maybe it's something in the hand. I don't know. Because me and Zora know what he's capable of. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I've seen out the gate, and that may be why I'm giving eight and a half, because um, I know what he's capable of, you know? So, um, we're going to stick with a solid eight for that. But definitely dope contents there, aggression directly right at you, you know what I'm saying? But the hangmakers need to step up a notch. Mad face. Uh, Mad face, Mr. Fence. Um, Wordsmith. Words went probably the best we got here, as far as um, uh, dealing with words, twisting them around, you know, um, aggression, delivery, not there at all. Um, he can turn it up a little bit, show a little bit of energy, but the lyrical ability alone itself gets him a seven and a half. Um, I figure if he had energy, or you know, um, more, if the content was more. Let me see, directive. You know, I'll probably get my high score, but um, seven and a half, Mr. Fitz. Um, power circle, though. Okay. Power circle. Okay, about now, facial or fever? Mm. Mm. Facial? We're going to get a facial eight and a half. I get facial eight and a half. Um, I'm contemplating stepping up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I have seen facial um, go crazy. I have seen him go crazy and been impressed with him, you know what I'm saying? But I also seen him go, ah, uh, mediocre, you know what I'm saying? But we all had those nights, you know what I'm saying? But facial, I think um, energy and aggression is dope. Um, I think wordplay, dope. I think the content, dope, you know what I'm saying? I think um, he might have to get a nine, because he's probably, you know, eight and a half. He's, he's, but he's in the upper, the upper echelon of Philadelphia battle rappers, though, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, just, just his presence, the whole package. I feel like he has the whole package, you know what I'm saying? As far as the battle rapper. Um, but we got to see him blossom, though. You know, as far as the people you battle. Right. You know, you got to... Um, it's a difference in battling a regular person that just rap or bat versus battling a top-tier battle rapper. Like, your angles, the way you rap, everything has to be on point. Like, you got to do things differently, you know what I'm saying? And, and I haven't seen him do that yet, you know what I'm saying? far as that, but what he is doing is hot, you know what I'm saying, but when he came up to a person who actually fought back and had a dope style of his own, dub, I feel like he lost 2-1, you know what I mean, and I I, I, I feel like he could have did a lot better, you know what I'm saying. That's good, I like that. But he's a, he, he's a dope one, though, he's a good dope. How about, well, my man been down for a minute, but he deserves his name mentioned, Million Dollar Cash. Oh, man, Cash. Cash, nah. Nah, eight and a eight. I don't have to give him an eight. But Cash content. Content. When he when he battles is just off the wall, like, you know what I'm saying? I sat around with him before, um he was preparing for Wiz. And he was letting me hear some bars and it was just like it was like wow. Like, yeah, yeah he's nice. It was like wow, damn bro, like that shit was dope. Like that was fire, you know what I'm saying? Like I like the way he put it together. And how much time he taken um into piecing every bar together properly to how to, to where it's structured. Okay. His structure is just dope, you know what I'm saying? The uh, reason I'm I'm going probably with the eight and a half is because of the delivery and presence. He kinda lacks that. He lacks that. But as far as lyrical ability, his presence and, and what's it's not really that low, but it's not as high as I would like for him to be top tier, you know what I'm saying? Um, but he's definitely one of the top spinners. Yes, he is. Spinners in, in Philadelphia, bad the right, you know what I'm saying? Bar none, you know what I'm saying? Bars is crazy. Dub the Fina. Dub, um, seven. Um, I feel like Dub has fell off. Um, I, I feel like he's become one dimensional, you know, um, which, which is like all aggression. You know, um, I'm used to seeing Dub witty, you know, laid back a little bit, perform, and then step it up, 
when the time's right with the performance, you know what I'm saying? And I haven't been seeing that out of him. Um, the content been strong, but it been kind of repetitive. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to, to him, um, you know, reinventing himself and stepping back out into the light, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, showing us something new, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. Okay. How about this one brother I'm proud of because he's been getting better and better, mm -hmm. Double Stacks. Double Stacks. Um, truth be told, I think Double Stacks shouldn't bad the rap. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that, that's my honest opinion. Um, like, he lacks presence. His voice will drive you out the building. Um, he's a good dude, though. <laughs> You know, um, he puts together some dope lines sometimes, though. Yeah, you know I mean, but the delivery is so all it's like it's not there, like or it's all over the place that the the the, the bars fall on deaf ears. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like the voice is really what holds him back a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because I've heard him say some dope stuff. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But his voice be cracking on him. You know, he be straining and talk. <laughs> Don't respect you, my man, no more, man. But I'm, I got to keep it a bean. Like, you know what I mean? I don't see him, you know, going far in bad rap. I think he should just keep it direct. You know what I mean? What like? HB. HB. HB, we're going to give a six. Um... He surprised me versus um, Lyle Mack. He was dope yeah. versus Lyle Mack. The first time I seen him before that, I figured, uh, man, he's all right, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing special about him, just a regular rapper, you know what I'm saying? Um, versus HB, I mean, um, versus um, Lyle Mack, he stepped up. Um, showed he was trying to show that he belonged here. Um, dope performance. Um, but I see shades of fish in the feed running a little bit, though, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I know they're in the camp, so I understand how some of that can rub off, you know what I'm saying? But I see a little bit of it. Um, I would like him probably to be a little more original for his style-wise. Um, and I think his lyrical content needs to step up. Um, good rhyme, but content, I mean, not really too heavy. And and hangmakers, la uh, he lacking hangmakers, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> On that. Okay, butter. Butter from the block, uh, my man. Butter, butter's an intellect. Butter's very smart. Um, butter has, he has presence and aggression, and he has lyrical ability. Dope. I mean, um, butter. I'm gonna have to give him a seven, um, because he hasn't shown me a performance worthy of anything higher than that since he. Um, I feel like he was his best battle. Um, everything after that has been subpar. As far as hangmakers and, and, and um, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But his originality is definitely dope. So that gave him a heads up on niggas, you know what I'm saying? But he just had to put it, put his showing together that'll make the people respect him. You know what I'm saying? All right, two more. His last two. Um, DB. DB. Um... TV. I'm gonna have to go with a six for right now. Um, haven't really seen no dope performances from DB lately. Things been average. Um, Ember's Unique was a pretty good battle. That was the latest one, which I actually felt like okay, he stepped it back up. He's trying to fight, that, like he's he's making a stand for himself. He's showing that he feel like he belong here, and you know what I mean, we're gonna give him some respect. You know what I'm saying? So that performance, I would have rate that performance a seven and a half to an eight, you know what I'm saying? But um I think that synchronizing of, of bars need to be a little better. Um content definitely needs to be a little more heavy as far as hangmakers, you know what I'm saying? That was love. Okay, Kid Tone. Hmm. Kid Tone, um Kid Tone, I'm gonna have to give him a five. Because I haven't seen a performance from him that I think is um that I think is dope. I seen him okay. His last performance I seen at the trap house, um he choked too many times for me. 
he had some some dope lines in there, but I don't feel like I heard no hangmakers. I feel like it was put together well, but didn't really do nothing for me. Didn't move me, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really too excited, but it was it was, it was put together cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so I'm at the game of five because the delivery and stuff really not there for me for what I like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, five, you know what I'm saying? Love is love, you know what I mean? Power circle, man. Oh, one last one. Can we get this, man? Mm -hmm. L, somebody you battled, Wiz. Wiz, uh, we're going to give Wiz a five and a seven on a good day. Um, Wiz, um, <sighs> content gets very goofy at times, you know what I'm saying? And when he gets to doing that, it's just, I, I don't want to hear it no more, you know what I'm saying? But then he got some times where he can give you some real life street shit that just really touch you somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's stick, you know what I mean? But the weirdo outweighs that shit to me, so it's kind of hard for me to really get into any of Wiz's battles because he be saying some off the wall crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Which is, I mean, which is unique. He has a unique style though and he sticks in his own lane, so I give him 100% credit for that, you know what I'm saying? You just got to put it together a little better. You know, make it stand out more, you know what I'm saying? Well, love is love. Salute the Wiz. I'm going to thank you for your time, bro. Uh, Y'all already know what it is, man. Love is love. May 30th. Y'all already know where to be at, man. Summer Supremacy 2. Music Not Studio. Big Hand vs. Tank the Demon, you know what I'm saying? Main event. You know what I mean? That nigga dead. Power suit.